Hi, I'm Steve, and I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your 1010 Music device. It is best to complete these steps on a computer. Mobile devices are not yet reliable for this operation. Starting from our website, you can find the link to our forum. I'll show you how to do this on a Mac. Start by opening Safari and calling up the 1010 Music website. Under Community, you'll find a link to our forums. I'll click on Forums. When you get to the forum page, if you see this large orange bar, this uh, section with text, it means you're not logged in. If you look in the upper right corner, you can either sign up, if you haven't done so already, to register, or you can log in. When I click that, I'll go ahead and use my credentials, click Login. As soon as you're logged in, you'll notice that that orange bar disappears. I'm gonna scroll down here to the third section, which is titled Product Downloads. The top section contains firmware for all three Bitbox modules. The Bitbox Mark I, or Original, the Bitbox Mark II, and the Bitbox Micro. Under that, you'll find the firmware downloads for the Black Box, the FX Box, Synth Box, Laser Box, toolbox, and a new section called sampler content bundles. The sampler content bundles is where you can download the original sound library and presets included with your device. These content bundles do not include firmware files. Okay, before we continue, I'd like to talk about a common error that we see often. To demonstrate this, I'll use the Bitbox Mark II. To update the Bitbox Mark II, I would first click on the forum, get into the thread, and you'll see two topics here. The first one, a sticky topic that contains the step-by-step -step directions needed to update the Bitbox Mark II. The second post in that thread contains the download link for the firmware. You'll always find a list with every firmware that shows issues that were addressed in that particular version. If I click on this link, Safari downloads the firmware and I get this .zip file. However, I need to unzip this to get a bin file. So if I double click that and get this bin file, this is the file that you want to put on your device. Safari in particular has an option for opening certain or safe files after downloading. Archives are one of those file types. So if I happen to have open safe files after downloading checked, and then I download the same file from the same link, what I get is a .bin file. So if you use this open safe files option, Safari will take care of downloading the zip file, unzipping it into the bin that you need for transferring to your device, and actually toss the zip in the trash. To update the firmware on the Bitbox Micro, navigate to the firmware download section on our forum and download the most recent firmware file. Unzip that file into the micro.bin file that you'll transfer to the micro SD card. Reinsert the micro SD card into the Bitbox Micro. Hold down the right arrow while you're powering up and release when you see text on the screen. The Bitbox Micro will do the rest. Mm -hmm. 